That's a big dude, man. Snakes most definitely are not my favorite. No, no, no. So we're on our way to the second job of the day, and it is to put in a complete water line. If you have watched one of my videos in the past of uh, you know how to repair an underground water line, it is actually the exact same job. I believe that video was shot uh, about two years ago, and I replaced about an eight foot section of water line. And at that time, I recommended that the whole line be done, but she just wanted me to do a repair. So here we are two years in the future, and she said go ahead and put in a brand new line. So that's what we're heading to do now. Since I see you have the heavy equipment, you're gonna replace that line today? Absolutely. Yay! Absolutely. So how you been doing? Been doing well, been doing well. Got a kind of do some searching around the house and make sure I'm not going to run into any underground power or anything like that. Like okay. Okay. So we know we got gas here, so we got to watch out for it. We got power here, your main feed. That comes in from up above, so we ain't got to worry about it. We've got Verizon telephone. Looks like we've got another out here. That's now we're on trench from the well there, right through here, somewhere to here. Got me knee pads. <laughs> so we are under the house, and there's a pressure tank that I had changed out a couple of years back. And um, the water line, we're going to disconnect the black and we're going to disconnect the wire somewhere. I'm just noticing all this mess up here. So I think a lot of that's going to get taken out of the equation. I'm gonna go over here and uh, see where it goes through the wall over here. So we found the power and the water line that go out to the well. Fresh. There's a snake in the hole? Where at? Okay. I see the snake skin. There's the snake skin. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, we got homeboy in here. <laughs> yeah, he did. You were like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Coming over the hole. I already been in here in the dark. I didn't see him. Man, look at that snake skin. Holy shit. Look how long it is. Look, there's. It makes a bend. It goes that direction. Did you see the actual snake? And then it goes that way. I mean, shit, that's like a five footer. Yeah. Oh, I see him. I see him. He's inside of here. Wow. He's inside of that. Hold on. There he is. He's moving in there. That's a big dude, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you see him in the video? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, there he is. He's slithering. I think he's going outside. Oh, there's his eyes. We just need to make a mental note. Pay attention. So what we'll do, we'll do as much work outside as we can, and then we'll both come under here together. Yeah, that way out. one person can keep an eye on it, and the other person can dig. And Because I don't really fear black snakes. But you can get a... Uh, yeah. But I'm surprised with all the rat poison and the stuff under here that a mouse out. hasn't died, and then he ingested the mouse, and then he died. It was just a dead rat. Where was it at? Yeah, there's one right there. There's one right there. There's a dead mouse. Yeah. Thing. And then... No, they don't. Well, they go out to the well. But this wire and this wire just join together. Gotcha. What you see down here? We saw a five or six foot snake. Uh -uh. Now, I'm not lying to you. Was he right here against the 
No, he was over towards the back side of the house where we got to dig a hole. Take these off. Well, I'm going to do my best to get all these cracks closed so those damn... They find, stay out of here. they find their way in one way or another. Oh, my gosh. They really tore it up under here. At least it was a uh, black snake. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it goes to the light post. Okay, well that's good. We won't have to worry about that line. You always have to be thorough and mark all your lines. That way you don't cause more work for yourself. Underground cable locator. So that is Verizon Telephone. And it makes a turn here and it goes that way. So that's all out of our way. So I'm going to go out here to the well, disconnect this, and start my trench. That one's done. Cut wires one at a time. And that's done. Time to dig. Alright, just finished the trench. Got it all done from the well to the house. We did end up hitting what seems to be old phone cable because I marked the one that is here and I clamped around it and it followed the orange marks that direction but this one went that way so I'm assuming it's an old phone cable because this is the one that we marked so I don't know where the other one went there's the old water line and the old electric line so now we're gonna dig a little bit closer to here and knock a hole through the foundation All right, we are back under the house, and I'm a little late with the camera, but he was actually hiding underneath this that we were walking on, and I got real quiet, and I could hear him moving, and then he popped up over there in the corner, and then he slithered his way all the way up into the corner, and he's chilling up in there. So, because he's gone, I went ahead and dug my hole here, and you can see the hole to the outside. So I've got my wire, I've got my sleeve, and I've got this all dug out. Now we can uh, go get our pipe and hook it up to the tank. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's only hot today. At least we're in the shade. should be enough there to hook up the well head snakes most definitely are not my favorite no 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 we're gonna need that at the well all right we got that all done elbowed elbowed I gotta pull the slack out of my wire we're heading to the well now to hook that up and then under the house we go So I just finished plumbing up the well head, real simplistic, no need for a, uh, a spigot out here or a boiler drain because they have concrete cover and they would never ever take it off. So uh, we just went ahead and used some elbows, brand new wire, time to cover up the ditch. But before we do that, we're going to go hook up the tank under the house and energize the system to make sure that we don't have any leaks anywhere before we cover everything up. We only have about 18 inches of clearance here. So we've got to crawl underneath these pipes. Not yeah, not much clearance. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do the army crawl. Do the army crawl. Uh, some days I love my job. Other days not so much. All right, I'm gonna hook this up. I need to glue out the bucket. Feels so much better under here than it does outside, though. That's why that black snake got <clears throat> under here. There's no, uh, there's no bugs under here. True. Just snakes. <laughs> Just reptiles. Ripped out. Old 
You'd be surprised what a lot of houses will look like underneath. Oh, I know I ripped a lot of shit out of my house. But I wouldn't have been able to test it. I mean, if it was dead, it got young. No up. sooner do you live in your house for 20 years and you go to sell it, all the things that you neglected to want to fix, you got to fix right then. Yep. I learned that when I sold my house. Because I was running, I think I was running my water softener off of an extension cord just because I didn't have a 110 outlet close by. Right. And they made me wire it, wire it up. A 110 outlet closer. I just tied on to it and wire stapled it over and put a box. You know, it was simple, but it worked just the same the other way. Yeah, I cleaned up on the wire a lot, man. Not long after I moved in. It was probably a year or two. Good deal. That's all set. Pressure switch is done. Water line is done. Electric line is done. Now all we gotta do is turn the power on, cover the ditch up, go home. My turn. Yeah. Uh, catch me outside, how about that? <laughs> all right, here's a look at the completed job. Got it all covered up here at the house. All this used to be the trench. We gotta go ahead and put her dog fence back. Tried to make it as smooth as possible. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Like a glove. Two jobs completed in one day. It's been a good day. So I gave the lady the bill. And I quoted her 1200 to do the entire job, you know, labor parts, everything. And the bill came out to be uh, 1086 So I go up to her, and I told her, I said, good news. I said, the bill came out to be a little bit below what I quoted you. She said, how did the, uh, how did the bill manage to be below what you had quoted me? And I said, well, because I'm honest. I, I used what... I said I would, you know, I used what I quoted and I, uh, I put down my hourly rate. And I said, uh, I could have, you know, you can fudge the number on things and try to get close to your estimate or you could be honest. And I just try to be honest. And she says, oh, great. So I hand it to her and she hands me 1200 cash. And she goes, don't worry about that. You just keep the extras tip. And I go, hundred and fourteen dollars and she goes what <laughs> and I said the bill was only 1086 you gave me 1200 so I handed her a hundred dollar bill back and uh, she was just like boy you're just so honest aren't you <laughs> I just thought it was cute had to share that hope y'all enjoyed the video thank y'all for watching have a good one